good afternoon so my name is prakash ji right now i have conduct the water test sulfate sulfate parameter the according to the test procedure is3025 part 24 right now i have conduct the sulfate gravimetric method is3025 part 24 three method is available one is uh, gravimetric number 2 torain method number 3 turbidity method so i have selected in gravimetric method so gravimetric method as per is3025 part 24 is mentioned the gravimetric method before you have conduct uh, before you you have conduct the test sulfate test uh, you have remove the turbidity and remove the iron iron content how to conduct the iron exchange test method okay first you take the you collect the water sample so okay you first you collect the water sample shake thoroughly shake thoroughly then do the filtration first filtration uh, filtration using uh, using for uh, 0.45 micrometer micrometer or otherwise use um, wattman 542 filter paper first to do the filtration you collect the water sample approximately 400 ml to 500 ml after after complete the filtration using for wattman 542 or 0.05 micro 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 yeah, micrometer na then the correct already i have conduct the i have already have done the filter solution then i am i am using the iron exchange column remove from iron content how to conduct na then first you wash thoroughly you take the this is a iron exchange this is for iron exchange apparatus first you have to fill the cation rexin up to marking level after fill the cation exchange cation rexin then wash two to three times distilled water distilled water wash karo two to three times the washing distilled water washing will completed na then we will washing for 1 is to 1 lcl 1 is to 1 lcl first wash two to three times distilled water distilled water washing is kadam sorry distilled water washing is completed then wash washing to washing to 1 is to 1 lcl washing is completed then then sample to transfer to your uh, iron exchange column transfer the according to the water sample transfer to iron exchange column then opposite um, you will transfer the water sample now the any iron iron uh, iron iron molecules available now the iron compound is available the cation exchange na, the cation cation resin totally remove the iron content then opposite one uh, collect, collect collecting the tube available you have collect the all the water sample iron exchange na your iron exchange remove the remove remaining sample then transfer drop by drop uh, then transfer the rod then opposite na you have to collect the iron exchange remove uh, remove the sample up to 300 ml marking level pass karo pass karo after you conduct the iron exchange procedure test you have to conduct the iron exchange na you remove the uh, the water is passing to uh, that ion resin na the all iron content is removed after you have to collect the opposite beaker is up to 250 ml or 300 ml after 250 or 300 ml is, uh, is you have to resume the water sample then stop the iron exchange washing stop stop the iron exchange pass karo after uh, water iron exchange removed na in every five sample you you, you using for iron exchange instrument 
every five sample and is completed now. After every sample it's completed, uh, do the your ion exchange column washing. Do the ion exchange column washing. Do the ion exchange column washing. Now, used for uh, three to four times distilled water do the washing. After three to four uh, for three to four times distilled water completed, then washing the one is to one HCl one or two times. Is this is interval time. Every five sample to conduct the filtration using the ion exchange column. After five sample is completed, do the sorry, do the uh, do the washing your ion exchange column. After five to four to five times tissue water washing completed, then we will do the two to three times one is to one HCl. Is washing everything completed? Use your your ion exchange instrument and done to next filtration. Okay, thank you very much.